So you might have noticed that I've been using this image in the background. Uh, we've actually got several of these. I'm not sure who on the team captured them, but they're beautiful. You can see people hacking at fences. Uh, and that's for a reason. This is something you used to not be able to do before. Uh, but a couple of the folks at Valkyrie realized that you know when you're swinging a heavy weapon near some zombies and you hit a fence and the fence doesn't respond, it didn't feel quite right. And so they put some time into, uh, into making sure that actually when you swing a weapon at a fence, particularly when you swing a heavy weapon at a fence or any breakable in the game, you can actually damage that breakable and uh, and make a difference to it. So I've actually, I'm sitting here in Drucker County. Uh, I equipped all of my characters with heavy weapons so that we could actually see this in action. So you come up to a, to a breakable, like a fence here, and you can like take down little pieces of it, chop it in half, wreck it. And it's not just the little fences. You can do it with the big fences too. Basically any fence that you know you can smash through with your car, you can also take out chunks of it with a, with a heavy weapon. Hey, it's, see if it, Jeffrey, see if it works on the windows of that building behind you. Oh yeah, okay, sure. I actually have not I tested think, that. I think it's supposed to work on, on just about every breakable. There we go, nice! Yeah. It totally does work. So yeah, so this so, do, this will not. This is another advantage, basically, that you get for carrying a heavy weapon. Not only are they better against plague hearts and juggernauts, they're also now better against obstacles. Um, they're much slower and they cost a lot of fatigue. So unless you've got powerhouse, uh, you know you want to be careful with them because you know there's there's a heavy cost to using them. But they've also, got some new advantages now, which feels really good. I mean, let's let's nip this in the bud before we start getting lots of uh, snarky comments too. Yes, obviously, if you hit a window with a hammer, with a regular hammer, it's gonna break, but not in this game. <laughs> yes. These, I mean, you know, it's actually kind of hard to break a window in a commercial establishment. They put a lot of effort into making those hard to break. So, uh, you know, we, we make you put some extra energy into it. But yeah, so it's a new advantage to having uh, to having happy weapons, which which feels pretty good. So yeah, uh, thank you. This is another reason we've we've been thanking Valkyrie like crazy. This is another reason to thank Valkyrie because they they set this up for us. They've got they okay. don't just, we we brag about their artists a lot. They also have programmers and designers okay. who are really good. Jeffrey, we we just got the best comment of their question of the day though. What's that uh, from Sarah on uh, on um, on Twitch? Twitch. Does your car fly away when you hit it with a heavy weapon? We should definitely find out. Let's uh, take care of these zombies here. But no, I mean, basically what they did was they changed sort of, you know, the existing things that are flagged as breakable and that have breakable, you know, states and stuff like that. Those things, okay, this, this is not working. Hold on a second. There we go, that's much better. Anyway, um, so I'm assuming there'd be no reason why it would affect a car any more than it has before. Nope, car is safe. So don't worry about suddenly sending it into oblivion. You're going to be fine. And thank you for the question, Sarah. Ooh. So uh, right. Fuzzy Cuffs wants to know, uh, they're trying to remember, do, uh, do juggernauts smash through those kinds of fences? Yes. So you're basically now, when you're wielding a heavy weapon, you're effectively a juggernaut. Uh, you can't knock cars out of the way that, the way that juggernauts can, but you can crash through fences. Uh, you don't just have to climb them. Though a lot of times actually smashing a fence is not what you want to do. Sometimes climbing a fence can slow down the zombies in a way that you actually want, and you want to leave the fence intact. So you can do things like, for instance, sneak behind the fence, which is something that uh, that Zoe made possible in a previous update. So all of these updates are kind of working together to try to make this feel like a more cohesive, more sort of grounded experience in a world that sort of hangs together and makes sense. Zane the Bear says, honestly, I... Uh, oh, wait, Zane the Bear can't wait to play it. Uh, who said... Somebody said it might be nice to have it affect the cars a little bit. And I'm like, do you really want us to mess with the physics on our cars yet again? Yeah, exactly. We just got the cars to stop flipping out whenever we repaired them. The last thing we want to do is touch them ever again, unless there's a problem. Yeah. Uh, 